So we woke up Goal. Goal is now awake. There's Goal. The no nose Goal. Again, I don't know why she has no nose, but she doesn't. She has no nose. What do we have in our inventory? We have a bag of cartridges and we have a torchlight. This is supposed to be Goal's backup consciousness? But her most important memory is missing. Me. Let's talk to the doc. I hope you know what you're doing. Of course I do. Oh, he's not going to say anything. Who's Captain Bozo? Hello? Can I help in any way? <laughs> nice try, but I'm not going to fall for it. I'm not conning you. I... Don't even try, Blackbeard. I suggest a truce. Not because I'm scared of you, but out of consideration for the lady, okay? I don't even have any weapons. Are you calling me a coward? If you want to fight, you just have to say so. What's going on here? Do you even listen to what I say? Huh, I thought as much, you chicken. Release Doc. But he's booked a passage to the floating black market. Oh, yeah? And your mother has booked for two, I suppose. Hey, leave my old mother out of this. Whatever this is. Touche, Captain. Touche. All right. I'm going to keep my... I don't think there's any useful... That's right. Useful dialogue there. So we're just going to leave. Does Gold follow me? Yes, she does. Gold does follow me. What are we doing with gold? Do we just want to bring her back? To, to Cletus? Is that what we want to do? I, I don't know. Like, that's what we were supposed to do, right? But there's one area we've never inspected at all, and it's this area. It's, it's, it's this area coming up. A stack of needles. Well, free choice. Ouch! Not this one. Ouch! Oh, God! Huh. This one respects me. I'll take it. Hey, this isn't a syringe at all. <laughs> I've literally found the straw in a needle stack. Who else can claim such a thing about himself? Okay, we got a straw. Can we actually get a needle? <laughs> you finished your full series of playthrough of Yakuza. 106 hours. And 500 hours into the all eight games. Woo! 10 out of 10. Would recommend. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. That's August. That's what I said. They cover again. We are searching for a Deponian male and a tall Elysian female. We found their traces, so we know that they must still be nearby. If you find them, arrest them at once. The Elysian must not be eliminated. The Deponian, on the other hand, may. Hey, did you hear that? Yeah. I guess I'm too much of a threat to them. Why? Is he too much of a threat to us? No, don't worry. He's just in our way. Hey. Get to work, men. There must be someone in the compound. Keep an eye on that gate. Don't let them escape. Yeah, they obviously have no idea who they're dealing with. Stay down. I'll show them the meaning of he's just in our way. Go get him, Tiger. It's nice to have another character. We don't have we oh we yeah, we've got a straw. What can we do with a straw? Yeah, that would really be. But if I go for a swim, the guards will see me. And I, yeah, that would really be super. Whoops. But if I go for a swim, I clicked out of the window. Me, and I don't have the equipment for diving. I don't. 
I hope Dole is watching this. This is something that I'll only do once. Hey, look, it's me. I'll save my tele. Ow! What was that? Did you hear that too? Sounded pretty miserable. Yes, it did. Well, I don't think we need to be frightened of an animal that makes sounds like that. It's probably physically challenged. <laughs> Crap. As long as the top is down, I can't make out anything in here. Ow! As long as the top is down, I can't make out anything in here. What are you talking about? I'll save my tele- I'm confused. Is anybody else confused? Because I'm confused. I'll save my tele. I'll save my te I'll save my. Ow! As long as the top is down, I can't make out anything. Roger Wilco would drink the water and die, probably. She's really hot. She really suits me. Okay, I was wondering if I could control her, but I can't, apparently. I mean, go here. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Alright. Ow! As long as the top is down. I'll save my te- Ow! As long as the top is down, I- What? What top? What are we talking about here? I- I honestly don't quite understand what the layout of this is. As long as the top is down, I can't make out anything in here. Ow! As long Yeah, it's bright enough in here. <laughs> I love that. He says it's bright enough in here. Well, maybe I can just... Oh wait, there's a left window and a right window. I did not notice that. Ow! That I did not know. I'll save my t okay, that that I think matters a lot. Ow! Ow! As long as the top. The hood is propped open by this red thing. It's all I can see. When I'm here, I can't do anything about it. It seems. So... I can only do something with the hood when I'm not... Okay. Ow! I'll save my telekin... I'll save my te... I'll save my tele. Okay. Wait, what's this? Hi. It's raining tacos. 
<laughs> the bone shattering honking will knock them out cold. Ugh, which brings us to plan B. <laughs> Ugh, which brings <laughs> What was that? Meow. No, that was not a cat. That was something big. Meow. A cow? A cow must be entangled in this pile of junk. So it would seem. Sh stupid animal. Whew. It's a good thing I'm always thinking on my feet. No, forget it. There's nothing there. Save my telecate. Okay. Finally, I can get over there without it squeaking. Now what? I'll save my tel. The organons are standing almost directly under the magnet. Those morons. <laughs> Enough laughter for now. I still need a plan to get rid of them. Maybe I can throw this at the thing. I'll save my tele. No, I can't do that. There's a crank, there's a horn. We used all of those things. Thanks for the taco party, Austin. By the way. We used all of our, but what, what's fence exit mean? Okay. Um. I'll save my telekinetic power. They'd make a great trio, but two jokers standing in my way are enough. All right, let's sort it. Let's see if we can use it on gold. All in good time. First, I'll deal with the organons. Then, I'll show gold my junk. I'll save my telecat. I'll save my tel. I'm missing something, and I don't know what. Oh, we probably need to use maybe. Why, why can we put that back? Now I hear it too. Hello? Hello, who's there? You're paranoid, 2017. Wait, we can just go over there? <laughs> All right, we did it. What's with the squeaky thing? I hope we don't need it. That wasn't half bad. Hey, half bad is my second name, babe. Stop calling me that. <laughs> oh, come on, we need to hurry. Where exactly are we going? Stop! Who goes there? It's me, Cletus, accompanied by my charming fiance, Go. Finally, I was afraid she'd already eloped with that disgusting Deponium. What a bizarre thought. Oh, contraire, Buttercup. Don't be afraid to admit that you did cast a covetous eye on that. <laughs> Rufus, very understandable. To me, he seemed like a dashing daredevil. On the contrary, honey bunny. He was nothing more than a self-centered fool. That's enough. You two will have enough time to frolic once we've returned to Elysium. Oh, yeah, finally, finally. Uh, uh, 
final fi 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 mm. preparations for our return have been made. Very well. Now, I need to talk to you in private, Ambassador. Uh, uh of course. Why don't you scuttle on ahead, darling? Me and the bailiff have urgent matters to discuss. <laughs> Seemingly. B but Shoo shoo, sugar. <laughs> if you insist, <laughs> so we'll see each other in a short while then. Toodaloo. Have you lost your mind completely? I thought we had an agreement. The memories of Ms. Gold must be deleted. And we need the Ascension Codes. Don't panic. I'm working on it. I'll swap the cartridges and uh, leave the original on the platform. That, that, that should make everyone happy, right? Yes, everyone except for the Deponians. <laughs> <laughs> if you try anything funny, I'll personally decapitate you with a rusty knife. <laughs> Yikes forever. Where'd she go? Where'd she go? Cletus, I've seen them with my own eyes. I already told you. Ulysses is right. We can't... Am I interrupting? Rufus, finally, I was about to throw this ignorant idiot from the tower. Don't ask me why I fancied him in the first place. What are you doing, Rufus? I thought we had an agreement. Think again, Cletus. I'll go to Elysium with gold. <laughs> this is a joke, right? Please go, tell me that this is a joke. It's not a joke. Rufus will come to Elysium with me. He'll help me to tell everyone the truth about Deponia. <laughs> and you really believe they'll grant someone like him access to Elysium? Why not? Everyone will think it's you. Him? Don't make me laugh. Give it up, Cletus. What's this? You're unleashing your lice upon me. Don't make me laugh. Cletus is kind of a... Ew, I mean... What, what, what do you bet that somehow they're related in some way? Like, you know his father left? What do you think they're related in some way? Don't make me laugh. I already told you that you shouldn't ape me. I already told you that you shouldn't ape me. Besides, that doesn't sound even remotely like me. I think he does quite a good impression of you. <laughs> Be that as it may, this one-man flea circus will never pass for me. Look at the way he dresses. Disgusting. Do I have to get angry first? Are you threatening me? Listen, bub, I've got the third bub. ASCAT in the art of Chwekulu. Yeah, just like I do. Oh yeah, what's your dojo? Uh, five? Five? I mean, uh, yellow, fire, Capricorn, ocelot, damn. <laughs> Don't make me laugh. He's by the edge, we can just push him, just whoosh. Problem solved. Problem solved. Right? Problem solved. Boom. End of game. You two go ahead and sort it out between you. But, Rufus? <laughs> and you're planning to elope to Elysium with a wimp like that? Don't make me laugh. You can't even hold a candle to Rufus. Enlightenment is not his strong suit. Rufus is miles ahead of you. Yes, especially in the Department of Body Odor. What have we here? A second disguise. Let's see who's the better Cletus. Rufus has more in his head than you have. Yes, and I'm sure you could feed three yeah, horses well. with it. Almost as good as my handmade disguise. <laughs> the inventory in these rags is ridiculously small. You can't even fit a bucket and mop in there, let alone a parrot and two cats. I'll put my stuff here for now. Rufus is miles ahead of you. Yes, especially in the Department of Body Odor. 
Rufus has more in his head than you have. Yes, and I'm sure you could feed three horses with it. All right, that's enough. Rufus simply has more class than ah, you. So this is the wimp you want to replace me with. Don't make me laugh. Give it up, Cletus. What's this? You're unleashing your lice upon me. Don't make me laugh. You two... But... <laughs> and your plan... Don't make... What do I need to do? Has more class than you. Are you talking about a class of pandemic diseases? Okay, they're just gonna argue, apparently. Is there anything else in the bag? Enlightenment is not his strong for men. <laughs> he can keep those. Rufus has more in his head than you have. Yes, and I'm sure you could feed three horses with it. <laughs> and why not? See, the ascension codes. That's what the catch was. At least Rufus is fighting for something he believes in. Oh, you mean he's fighting for the Easter Bunny? Ooh. Well, now we look a lot like him. I'm not leaving without gold. Okay. Well. We don't have much we can do here. So Elysium is just like this floating, maybe not floating, but this place up there. They'll greet me with a ticker tape and confetti. Oh boy, I love confetti. At least Rufus knows how to treat a woman well. All right, that's enough. Oh, you mean right after he's bludgeoned her with a club? <laughs> Don't make me... Don't make me laugh. I already told you that you shouldn't ape me. I already told you that you shouldn't ape me. Besides, that doesn't sound even remotely like me. I think he does quite a good impression of you. Huh. Be that as it may, this one-man flea circus will never pass from me. He can try and put on my clothes all he wants and infest them with bugs. There is still one thing where I'm completely different. Oh my. Your sagging butt cheeks? <laughs> My birthmark, you dumbass. Cletus is speedos. <laughs> yeah, what are you doing? Out! <laughs> oh, I'll put him on the flagpole. No, don't! Yeah! We did it! We really did it! Towards Elysium! <laughs> Not so fast, buddy. What was the agreement that Cletus was talking about? What? Oh, that. Forget it. That's all toxic waste under the bridge. Let's go! To Elysium! Wait a minute. That's it, right? You don't even care about what happens to Deponia. You just want to get to Elysium, whatever the cost. Me? No! What a change of attitude. He sounded quite different earlier. Deponia stinks. Only idiots live here. If it were up to me, they could blow the whole place sky high. Yada, yada, yada. You keep out of this. Don't believe a word he's saying, Gole. He just wants to drive us apart. But how do I know I can trust you? Trust this rat. Don't make me laugh. Gole, he hates Deponia. He's an egomaniac, a thief, and a traitor. Just go through his things. I'm pretty sure you'll find a backup cartridge, just in case you realize what he's up to. He wouldn't do that. Well, go ahead. Have a look. Gole, don't. Gole, listen. You don't understand. I think I understand very well. You know, Rufus, I really thought you were something special. But I am something special. I know you think that, but you're nothing but an egotistical scoundrel. You don't only resemble Cletus on the outside. Come over here. I want to take a good look at you before I return to Elysium alone, so I can remember what kind of a face not to fall for yet a third time. No nose. Still no nose. Not even close up. Oh wait, am I supposed to click? No. Wait, or maybe I am. I can't click. Oh wait, I can click on her thing. No, don't do that. Why would I do that? No. 
Really? The only thing I can click on is her little... About time, too! Get me down from here! Why should I? From the start, you've been jeopardizing our plans, Cletus. Rufus, on the other hand... You can't be serious! You're not saying you trust this lying rat more than me! Why not? He is indeed a lying rat! Hey! But that's what makes him the perfect man for the job! He'll be celebrated as a hero in Elysium, and he'll get the girl! He'll get everything he ever dreamed of! Do you really think he'd risk all that just to save his home that he loathes so much? He's not man enough to do that! Once Gold sees his true self, he'll lose everything he tried to achieve! He'll never take that risk! Congratulations, Rufus. You did it. Just insert the backup cartridge, and you can leave. Elysium awaits you. Well... You want me to roll for a while? No, no. Don't worry. I know that you need to go easy on your back. And once we're back on Elysium, I'll give you a nice back roll. Okay? I guess so. Come on, don't make such a gloomy face. In a way, it's a good thing that our inspection was without results. Although, I can't remember everything. Or was there something else? Um. Come on, how about a bit more enthusiasm towards Elysium and all that? Yes? No? Um. What's wrong? Is there something you'd like to tell me? Aren't you happy to be going back to Elysium? I am. It's just that... Well then? Towards Elysium, right? Say, Gold. Yes. Um. Well, it's like this. I'm all is. I don't think we can say. What are you stammering about? Spit it out. Yeah, we can't say. Oh, forget it. <laughs> Whatever you say. I mean, she kind of did, right? What? <laughs> what kind of? What kind of vehicle are we on? Oh, we're, we're we can do stuff. This time, it really was the perfect plan. Just perfect. Towards Elysium. Come on, you can do better than that, can't you? Uh, towards Elysium. And once more with more enthusiasm. Uh, towards Elysium. I hear your words, but I can't feel them. It's just that... You're beginning to scare me. What's wrong with you? Then I'm gonna tell you. I guess we can. You have to promise not to get mad. Why, Cletus? Why would I get mad at you? She's gonna get mad. Calm down. Relax. Relax, some con man erases my memory, poses as my fiance, and almost gets me involved in a genocide, and I'm supposed to relax. I, I told you about it, didn't I? I mean, I'm the, I'm the good guy. You'll be the dead guy if you don't return my old memories. But that'd be suicide. Believe me, buddy, not doing it would be suicide. Okay, okay. And now remove... This fragment of pseudo-personality from my brain. And don't even think about inserting it again. Yeah, yeah, I'm working on it. Ungrateful... Ooh. Fortunately, the goal on the other cartridge likes me a bit more. 
Does she? Lace. <laughs> Does she though? All right. I thought that was going to be the end of the game, but it's not. Like, it looks like we go along this, like, thing and we're going up, but I don't know what the paddling does. Like, I guess it's like, why wouldn't it, you know, they can make it bike powered, right? <laughs> and why is gold doing it? Like... Bag, goal, lifeboat. All right. Are they still here? This has yeah. to go faster. We need those codes. Yes, Bonif. You do know what's at stake. If Ulysses had had his way, we'd all perish here on Deponia. Yes, Bailiff. Any problems here? No, Prime Controller, sir. Just a relay that short-circuited. This matter is of no concern now. I want to address the crew before we head on to Portofisco. Immediately. As you wish, Prime Controller. You heard the man. Get moving! It's well. now or never. I guess we're gonna go get this. I don't think this is going to go well. Well, it, it went fine. I got, no, don't go that way. It's the way they went. No, don't go that way. What are you doing? What are you doing, Rufus? You dingus. Hello. Surprised, are we? I no. bet you thought you finally made it, huh? Lady Luck loves the righteous, so on and so forth, right? Well, think again, buddy. It's almost ironic. For once in your life, you decide to do the right thing, and immediately you lose everything. <laughs> your dream turns into a nightmare. The love of your life is lost, and your home planet gone. <laughs> I would really love to pity you now, but the cable boat is ready, and the ascension codes have been entered. I don't don't want to let Elysium wait for me any longer. After all, they're expecting a report from me. I could have left already, by the way, but how shall I put it? My back is troubling me. I don't want to do all the rowing by myself. So, hand over the cartridge. Now, Gull's memories about your failed attempt to mess with my plans should still be stored in her short-term memory. I can delete that in a minute. Hand it to me. <laughs> you wish. What is going ah, on here? The Organon. Always on time, always reliable. I guess I owe you an apology. That rat didn't swallow your cheese, Bailiff. But I'm not an unforgiving person. Once Rufus hands over the cartridge, we'll be able to carry out our scheme as planned. Now more than ever. You heard him, Rufus. Give him the cartridge now. Come on, Rufus. Be reasonable. I can't I do anything. To Elysium, no matter what. You can't change that. But if you hand over the data, you'll at least have a chance at saving goal. So what do you say? Do we have an agreement? L let's talk this over. And why, Plato? Should I listen to you? I just want the cartridge. Nothing else. I mean, you want to kill me, obviously. Never. Well, I guess I'll have to row myself then. Too bad. But I should have known that your pride is more important to you than Gull's life. <laughs> I bet you already figured out a nice lie to tell her when she wakes up and then realizes that you brought her a front row seat for Armageddon. Ah, uh, wait a minute. No, no, don't waste my time. Give me the cartridge or don't. I mean, I get... See, they're forcing us to pick the particular decision, but I mean, that's fine. No, no, don't wait. Give me the cartridge. Okay, you win. Here's the cartridge. <laughs> How unusually reasonable of you. <laughs> and I bet the goal would be thankful too. Unfortunately, she will never know that you even existed. My, my, my. Deponia will make such a great display of fireworks for our wedding. <laughs> Please, what? 
What happened? Um, a lot. Uh, uh, can't you remember anything at all? Of course I can remember. I... I... Um... We two were on board an Organon cruiser. We wanted to inspect Deponia, right? We're on Deponia now. Our mission is over. Did I fall asleep? There, there was an accident. You fell from the cruiser. That's why you can't remember anything. But take a look around. Deponia really is deserted. Unbelievable. Nothing but junk. Yes, just junk. Nothing else. Come, let's go home to Elysium. We have to prepare our wedding. Yes, let's go. No! 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 Well, there. now we see what's happening. That's going to take a long time. Well, that's that, I guess. I'll be on my way, too. The way home to Kuvak is long, and I need to prepare for the apocalypse. Not so fast, Sonny. You didn't think we'd let you leave just like that. You know too much. Also, I believe you have something that belongs to us. Oh, yes. The cartridge. Hmm. Give it to me. What is it? What are you waiting for? Oops. No! Oops. <laughs> so long, suckers. That was a nice run. What? No! Get that traitor! <laughs> Shoot him! Well, my friend, did you lose something? The cartridge. Uh, bravo, Prime Controller, sir. Uh-oh. Damn, he's too far away. See you later. No, stop! Hey. What are you doing? Stop, stop, stop. Ah, you damn fool, let go! Uh-oh. <laughs> no. Ah! Right into the needles. <laughs> Back so soon? <laughs> that was a pretty impressive fall. And you managed to land in the pile of needles. Never seen anything like it. You have my respect. Ow. Everything all right, kid? You seem a bit stressed out. No! I think I just broke my back. I think I got a needle in my eye. <laughs> now we're on the boat. We found a straw in the second. The course is set. Next stop, the floating black market. Good, great, fine. Are you all right, Rufus? You sound all tuckered out. You didn't finish telling me what happened up there on the tower. I don't want to be nosy, but uh, is Deponia safe? No. Nope. That's out of my hands now. Now look at you startled, the brain implant cartridge has not been swapped, which was all part of the plan. A world has been rescued that he did detest. Who'd have guessed Ooh. I'll test, you'd have done just the same. So if you still want to force me to do stupid chores, like washing the dishes to the trash and such, you'll just prove that you haven't paid attention to what I said. The message at its cause like Huzzah as a rule. Huzzah, the chorus guys rule. That's the end. So we didn't swap the cartridge. So goal so goal is pretending. Goal is pretending right now.
That's is that is that what we're supposed to gather from this? Is that goal is pretending that uh, she doesn't know what went on? She's faking it because we have the backup cartridge, which means the memories of what happened. She knows what happened. So she's faking it. I think I think they I think we realized that we couldn't get away with this Cletus ruse. Probably. Is my guess. I, I really don't know. I don't know why we went back. Maybe we thought that. Maybe we thought that uh, it, we just couldn't keep it up. Maybe she had a better plan. I feel like maybe that argument was staged. after we came back. But I don't know. I don't know. We don't know. It was a good game. I enjoyed it. I, I obviously don't like Rufus. Rufus is kind of a jerk, but you know, he kind of turned into, he started to do the right thing at the end, I suppose. But you know, again, but it's not, but he's only doing the right thing. He's, he's doing the right thing because it is because he kind of has to.